Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Revamp Founder. Today we have Julian Nahum joining us. So without any delay, let's get started. So hey Julian, how are you? Hey, thanks. I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. So can you just give an introduction of yourself to the audience, to the viewers, the listeners? Yes. So my name is Julian. Uh, I'm a software engineer by profession. I've always been into entrepreneurship. Uh, when I was at like uni, I was always doing you know side projects, and then uh, I got a first job at Amazon at AWS, where while I was also uh, doing some side projects, and then at some point, a bit less than two years ago now, I decided to uh, leave my job and, and go full time uh, on the side projects. Uh, one of my main one currently is Notion Forms. Uh, which I've bootstrapped uh, in the last one year and a half, uh, and it's gone uh, pretty well. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty great. Uh, so what like inspired you to create this project? You mean uh, inspired me to start Notion Forms? Yeah, all these. Yeah, Notion Forms is your main project. Uh, I. You know, I was a Notion user. Uh, I really loved the software. Uh, I was literally using it daily. I use it for my personal life, for work, for everything. Uh, and you know, I, I, at the time, I had like just left my job, so I was kind of looking for new projects to build. I was doing a lot of open source uh, stuff, and you know, like some testing out some project ideas. And uh, Notion just released their official API, so I thought, you know, I want to build something with it. Uh, and I had the idea of a firm builder because uh, Airtable, which is kind of similar in some ways because it has databases, have this like f- uh, form feature. Uh, and I thought, you know, that it would be really cool to have the same thing for Notion. So I just built it, uh, you know, gave it for free to people online. At, at the time, it was super simple. And, uh, you know, people enjoyed, they started using it. And then, and then you know, it grew a bit. And then I monet- monetized it and, and, and so on up until now. That's that's really good. Uh, so you're an SD at AWS. Yes. Right? Yeah. So so when did you start getting these pro- projects? Like after leaving, or like were you? Was it no, no, project? no. I, no, I always I was always doing side projects. So I basically since I know I learned how to code properly at around eighteen, and then since then uh you know I always had side projects on the side. So I had some doing unis. Uh, I created like a Another company, which was a marketplace of train tickets originally with a friend that we were able to sold. Uh, and I was doing, you know, other projects while at Amazon as well on the weekends and during the nights. And uh, yeah. And that, that's nice. I, I saw on your uh, Twitter bio that you have reached an ARR of uh, $163,000. Yeah. Right? Uh, I don't know the exact number right now, but it's around 165 or something like this. One six three, yeah, you're right. So your goal is to reach two hundred thousand. Yeah, current goal is that. Hopefully, yeah, I'll be able good, to set the new goal soon. Yeah. yeah. So how long did it, like take you to reach one six? Uh, so about a year and a half. That that's pretty quick, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was like actually it's quick. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes it feels really quick and sometimes it feels long because, you know, I did so many things for that project, but overall, I think it's quick and I'm, you know, more than happy with the results. So like what are the major factors according to you, uh, which led to you reaching this area? Yeah. I believe uh, there was a need for this, uh, you know, like many people uh, without, you know, explicitly knowing it needed this. So I got kind of lucky with the ID. Uh, it was the right timing. I was kind of in the right place and the right mindset at the right moment to build this. And then uh, I sh- think I managed to share it in the right places, you know, on uh, like Notion communities, uh, on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter. So I was able to pick up some early users very, like, very quickly and to iterate on the product. And then, you know, uh, I guess like marketing, the few things I did on Twitter helped. And also the fact that it's a form builder, uh, it has, you know, this kind of viral uh, loop built in because people use the product and then they share the forms and then people see the product and so on. So, yeah, I think that that's pretty much what happened. 
So like uh, Notion forms, uh, there you use Notion as the in the backend, so as the database. Exactly. For all uh, forms so of So how does stack up against Airtable? So I mean, I could use I could do the same thing with Airtable, uh, and it's actually a project I have uh, that's been pending. Uh, but anyway, uh, like it's kind of the same thing, you know. It's just that some people use Notion, some people use your table, and you know, the people with Notion they didn't have that feature. So yeah, yeah then it's hmm, cool. Uh, now, personal question that I'd like to ask is, what is your main tech stack uh, for Notion forms so, and the project? Yeah, so of, for all of my projects, the tech stack is the main. It's the same. Uh, so in the backend, it's a PHP framework called Laravel. Uh, in yeah. the front end, I use Vue.js, and then I use Tailwind for the styling. Um, what else? Yeah. I deploy everything on AWS, so it's serverless. So in yeah. Lambdas, uh, yeah. I use PostgreSQL for the database. And yeah, that's it. That's that's really great. Uh, so do you manage everything alone, or do you have a team uh, work with freelancers no. or something? So I have a full-time software engineer working with me on the different projects. Uh, so Chirag, that's his name. He's like super helpful. Uh, he's, you know, he's helping me a lot and it allows me to uh, kind of try to build no, new projects while ma maintaining the old one and also, you know, keep uh, adding new features. So it has really helped me uh, diversify uh, and get more time on, my, on myself. Uh, and then, you know, I also I hire freelancers for all the stuff. So like to produce videos from time to time. And, and now I'm also getting some help from, uh, someone, uh, to try and set up some Google ads. Yeah. Yeah. I was reading out on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, so like, what is the biggest lesson that you've learned while building <laughs> different projects? I think, uh, I'd say like probably the most important thing is to start. Uh, I've started, I've started so many projects and like most of them literally failed. Uh, prob probably like the last project I started that's going to fail is was last weekend, like this quick links, uh, thing. I think it's fun and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad I built it, you know, just to show how I build stuff. Uh, and, and the good thing is it's useful to me, but you know, I don't expect it to be a multi million <laughs> software thing. Yeah. Uh, so I guess you know, like just start. Uh, eventually, you'll find someone that's some people want to buy. Uh, like you'll build a great product, but it takes time and you need a bit of luck. So you know, trying multiple times definitely helps. Yeah. So it's important to start, basically. Yeah. Start and like help. don't be afraid to do many things. So yeah, start and and when you need to stop, stop. <laughs> it's hard to know when. Yeah. But you know, like yeah. try to. Give yourself some chances, like. Like I personally believe that many people say that never give up, never do this. But sometimes, like it's good not to give up, but to know when to stop. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like I think that's super important. Hardest, like yeah, that's that's like the sentence I like. Like the the first hard, like the hardest thing to do is to start, and the second hardest thing to do is to know like yeah. when to stop. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think that's a good that's a good sentence. I like it. Yeah. So um another question like if you start working on these projects today, what would you do differently than what you are done? You know, like the what? easy and obvious answer is uh like uh, nothing because I learned everything and you know I'm glad <laughs> I did it that way. But uh, okay, like maybe that answer is not like super interesting. So what would I do differently? Um I would have started uh, being active on social media earlier. So I started Twitter pretty much at the same time I started Notion Forms. Uh, and that, that has been like super helpful, but it has also made the journey, you know, so much more uh, fun because, you know, I get to talk with many interesting people to meet, uh, you know, just builders like me doing similar stuff. And it really boosts your motivation, gives you ideas, inspiration. So that's definitely something I wish uh, I started earlier. Uh, then you know, classic stuff. Uh, try to invest in SEO if you can. Uh, you know, find some users as early as you can and, and really like talk to them. Have like for me it's a must have to have a live chat on your website 
just to get like you know some live feedback from your users to be able to allow them to contact you easily and you know to really mature your product. Yeah, that, that's a nice that's a nice answer. Uh, so I I was reading on Twitter the other day that you got one of your startups acquired on micro acquired, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So congratulations for that. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so that's another project I did uh, with friends uh, during COVID. Uh, it was basically a restaurant menu builder uh, working with QR codes. So, you know, like restaurants, they have like the QR code on the table and then people scan it to get the menu. And then they have like a nice looking digital menu, you know, that looks a bit like a food delivery apps, like Deliveroo, Uber Eats, uh, I forgot all the names worldwide, but, you know, these kind of apps. Uh, it, it, it was a really interesting, super fun project. Uh, but in the end, like we realized that the Western industry is hard and that we were not like, you know, willing to do what it was uh, required, like what it takes for this thing to work because, you know, like Western owners, they're not like super tech savvy. Um, they, you know, things are slow and you need like, they kind of expect you to physically meet them to before they buy your product. It's, it's not like the same as, you know, when you're doing a SaaS or stuff like this. So we had some few uh, recurring customers, but we were not like working on, on the project anymore, just like maintaining it for the existing customers. Uh, so my friend listed it on, on Micro Acquire and, you know, at some point we found someone to, you know, that was interested in, in the product. So we ended up selling it, which was good because, you know, I hadn't touched the project for like a year. So it was a good yeah, surprise. Good. good thing, actually. Uh, now my last question would be like, what message would you like to give all to all the young builders who are just starting out on the journey of building? Try. That's you know there are many things. Uh, like first of all, congrats on wanting to you know do this. Uh, really do it. Focus on it, and you know it takes time, but it, uh, you know take your time and make sure it's fun for you. Uh, if it's not fun, then you won't last long. So. Don't uh, exhaust yourself and, and, you know, take it easy, but do it, start, uh, and eventually you, you'll, you'll figure things out, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. You know, it can sometimes take time to figure things out. Then then yeah, I think can... it's important not to pressure yourself uh, too much. Uh, you know, when you have a business, uh, it's kind of, it's very different from a job, like your job essentially never stops you know even when you sleep you need to make sure like your servers are working uh, your customers are happy and that's that takes time uh, it takes a lot of uh, uh, space in your brain you know like it's it's something you need to think about all the time so it's important to know uh, when to relax and when to do other things you know to clear your mind yeah very important uh that's all from my side. If you'd like to say anything here. I think we had a nice chat. I don't know. Like I don't have anything particular to add. <laughs> okay. That's all. Great. So thank you. Awesome. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, same. Thank you. Yeah.